All right, I'm in need of a 70 centimeter 440 Yagi antenna. And I want to put it in my attic. I don't want to spend a lot of money, but I want to get a repeater that's about 50, 60 miles away, maybe a little, a little further than that. I can get it, but I can't get it real well right now. So I think to just be on the cheap, I think I'm going to make it out of a, a tape measure. You've seen many of these made, but uh, I'm going to make a seven element Yagi antenna that I think is going to really hone in that signal. Let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, there's a multitude of ways to build a Yagi antenna. A lot of people like to build just a three element antenna. It has a reflector, it has a driven, and it has a director. This is where it's it, all the signals directing in this direction right here. Uh, reflector reflects the signal, it's coming in, and a director directs the signal out like that. Now, this is a great antenna, especially if you're not going a great distance, it's, it's a great antenna. Now, what we want, we want an antenna that'll give us the, the most out of an antenna. In other words, it really gets us as far as we possibly can, and that beam is gonna be pretty narrow. We wanna build a seven element antenna, and it's gonna have a reflector here, it's gonna have a uh, uh, driven here, and then all of these right here are going to be directors. And what that does is every, the, the more elements you have on your director, it makes that beam get real, real narrow. And that's what we want. We know where we're gonna hit. We know what tower we're gonna hit. It needs to be about 50, 60 miles away, I believe it is. We know what tower we're gonna hit. So what we wanna do, let's just say here's our tower right there. We wanna hit that tower and this is the way it's gonna look like if we had a three element antenna. In other words, it's gonna hit it. Uh, it's not a great distance. Perfect, it works for most applications. And you have room to play. In other words, if I was pointing it like this, still gonna hit it, still gonna hit it. You know, anywhere in that circle is gonna hit like that. Now, a seven element antenna is gonna make this beam more like this. Now, it's gonna make all of that signal go straight into that tower there, but I don't have a lot to play with. See, I don't, I don't have a lot there to play with, which is okay though. Once it's locked down, it's gonna be good. Now, if you go back to the three element like this, it's gonna hit your target, but you've got a lot of wasted RF right here. You're, you're shooting it at nothing, really. But when you do this, you're not wasting nothing here because your signal is focused. Okay, here's all you're gonna need. We went to the hardware store. We got our pipe, a 10 foot stick, a half inch pipe. Um, you could use the gray pipe. You could use the regular PVC pipe. It doesn't matter. I just like things to look a little stylish when I do something. So that's the reason I did that. Uh, cross pieces, half inch. Cross piece is gonna need six of those since it's gonna be a seven element. Then you're gonna need a T that's gonna go uh, all the way up to the director up very front of the antenna. So uh, you'll need that. On the back of it, where it's actually gonna mount to a mask, and the reason I, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than you might have seen before, is I want this to mount on a mask in the attic of my house. I want this to be kind of a permanent solution. So this is gonna be our mounting bracket for that, and I'll show you a little bit later how that's gonna play out. You'll need a piece of cable of some sort so that you can cut it and be able to uh, wire up your antenna. And then last but not least, you're going to need a tape measure. Let's go cut some pipe. All right, now that we've got all of our pieces cut, we can start assembling the, uh, basically the, the skeleton of the antenna, what everything is going to attach to. And it's uh, fairly easy. It really is. Let's get this thing put together. And I won't bore you with all the details of putting it together, but it is just like Legos and there's not a whole lot that uh, you really need to know, but just put the pieces together just like this. Voila. There you go. 
That's the backbone of our seven element Yagi. All right, the next thing we need to do is uh, get our tape measure and start cutting it to the lengths that we're gonna need for each of our elements on our PVC platform here. And what I'm gonna do in the description below is I'm gonna give you all the cuts, I'm gonna give you all the measurements for this, give you all the measurements for the tape as well. All right, we got all of our pieces cut to the right lengths and I went ahead and took the liberty to put a little electrical tape on the ends of each element because this is razor sharp. Once you cut that, it's, it's ready to slice. And this right here does a great job at protecting uh, the ends of the, the tape measure. So all we need to do is just strap them on and then we'll need to solder on our connector right here. Actually, we'll just cut the uh, piece of cable. We're gonna cut that in half. We'll strip it back. We'll put, take the shield and take the center conductor and we'll put the shield on one side, center conductor on the other side right here. That'll actually go here and then we'll be able to adjust this. This is how you adjust these antennas is on that driven element. You'll be able to just go back and forth with this and that's how you uh, get it really, really tuned in properly. So we'll do that here in just a bit. Okay, all we have to do is just uh, pretty much center it. We can put our tie strap on just like this. Get it up in there. You don't have to get it super, super tight yet because you might need to adjust it a little bit to make sure that it is totally centered. That's pretty much it, just like that. Your driven elements here, we're gonna wait on those. Let's skip down one. And put one of our directors on. Like that. And we'll continue on down the line. Okay, really all we got left is our driven elements. And as you can see, we had to sand off the paint so that we'll have a place to solder to. So we can put our coax on there, our hairpin as well. Now the best way to do this is to get both sides, twist them together like that. Get your center conductor, twist it on there as well. Now, you have it all together. All right, there you go. Now we're ready to install it onto the antenna. All right, there you have it. Seven element, 70 centimeter on the 440 in the attic and it's permanently mounted right here so that we can get uh, some repeaters that are a good distance away from our house. Hey, if you like this video, you got some value out of it, please give us a thumbs up, like and subscribe and check us out on the next video.